Find the values of k for which the equation x squared plus 3kx plus 1 fourth into 45k plus 54 is equals to 0 has equal roots. Okay, so now this question over here talks about the nature of roots. Let's start off with this word, roots. So in maths, the word root is equivalent to talking about the x-intercepts of a quadratic or sometimes people refer to this as the solutions of a quadratic. Right? And by quadratic, remember, we mean problem. Okay, maybe it's better to think about it as x-intercepts. Right, so... What we have over here is sort of like a general form of a quadratic. Okay, so how does this quadratic differ from other quadratics that we've seen before, like x squared plus 2x plus 1? Well, the difference is over here, our a, b, and c value are just constants. Whereas in this specific quadratic, you can see that our b and our C value are given by equations. Okay, so when you look at this, you see that A is equals to 1, B is equals to 3K, and C is equals to this whole expression over here of 1 fourth into 45K plus 54. Okay, so What's happening is that um, if this was a function, right, so in other words, if this was y is equals to x squared plus 3kx plus 1 fourth into 45k plus 54, okay, if you let y equals 0, right, that means that you are finding the x-intercepts of your function. Okay, so what the question really boils down to is we want to find out which values of k must we substitute into this general form such that the quadratic equation that will um, come out will have equal roots. Okay, so remember that when we find the x-intercepts, we go through some sort of a process of factorization. Okay? And you usually uh, get two different answers, but sometimes you can get uh, the same answer. Okay? And because those two values are the same, that's where the word equal comes from. right? And thus, sometimes we just simplify this to just talking about one root okay and you can substitute this word root again with x intercept okay so we want to find the value of k right the value or values of k such that when we substitute it into this given general form right then our quadratic is only going to have one x intercept okay we also know that when we are finding the x-intercepts of our quadratic, we can also use a tool called the quadratic formula, right? Where x is going to be given by minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. Okay, and this expression over here, underneath the square root, that expression is called the discriminant, right? And the discriminant is what determines the type of x-intercepts that we are going to have, okay? So b squared minus 4 times a times c, this is called the discriminant. And we represent it using a delta, which is a triangle. Right, so there is um, three different situations that you can come across. Okay, so I've now represented the three different situations that we can come across when we are finding the x-intercepts of our parabola. 
In the first case, you can see that we have two x-intercepts, right? In the second case, we only have one x-intercept. And in the last case, we have no x-intercepts at all. So how does this correspond to the value of the discriminant? Well, in the first case, the discriminant is greater than zero. Right? So in other words, when the discriminant is positive, we say that we are going to have two distinct, right? and the word distinct means different, real roots. Okay? And when you transfer this to graphical form, that just means that you are going to have two distinct x-intercepts. Okay, and the second case corresponds to the discriminant being equals to zero, right? And when this happens, we say that we have equal roots, right? Or we sometimes talk about the fact that we only have one real root. Okay, in graphical form, that transfers to just saying that you have one x-intercept. Right. And in the last situation, corresponds to the discriminant being less than zero. Right. In other words, the discriminant is negative. When this happens, we say that we have no real roots. And this corresponds to a graphical form of no x-intercepts. Okay, so this is the theory that you need to know in order for you to answer these questions where you have some sort of a k value inside of your quadratic. So going back to the question, you would first start off by identifying your a, b, and c value. And this a, b, and c comes from the general form of the quadratic of ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, from the given expression above, we see that a is equals to 1, b is equals to 3k, and c is equals to 1 fourth into 45k plus 40, 54. Okay, so then once you've identified your value of a, b, and c, you can then go and set up your equation. So we want this expression, the given expression, right, to have only one root or one x-intercept. Okay? So we can start off by saying for equal roots, right, the discriminant is going to be equal to zero. Okay? And we know that the discriminant is given by the expression b squared minus 4 times a times c. Then now we can substitute all of these values into our equation. Right? So we're going to substitute the discriminant is equal to 0, b is equal to 3k, a is equal to 1, and c is equal to 1 fourth into 45k plus 54. Okay, so now we are ready to go on and simplify further. Okay, so we'll have 0 is equals to 3k squared, that's 9k squared, minus 4 times 1 is 4, into, and inside of this uh, square bracket, we can distribute that 1 fourth into the smaller bracket, that will give us 45k, divided by 4 plus 54 over 4, close our bracket, right? Then we can distribute this negative 4 into our square bracket. That gives us 0 is equal to 9k squared minus 45k. And that's because when you distribute that minus 4 into the bracket, the 4s will cancel each other out. Same thing for the second term. That's minus 54. And then we can pull out a 9 from all of these terms. 
that's a common factor of 9, leaving us with k squared minus 5k minus 6 inside of our bracket. Okay? Then we can divide both sides by 9, which will give us 0 is equal to k squared minus 5k minus 6. We can factorize this into two brackets. That is k minus 6, k plus 1. And that's because k times k is k squared. k times 1 is um, 1k plus or minus 6 K is going to be this minus 5K. And then uh, a negative times a positive is a negative 6 times 1 is 6. All right. Okay. So then, therefore, K is equals to 6 or K is equals to minus 1 is what's going to give a quadratic that only has one x-intercept. Okay, so to summarize, what we've established now is that these two values of k, k is equal to 6, or k is equal to minus 1, when you substitute them into the original given expression, right, then the quadratic that will um, result will only have one x-intercept.